Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. This is Mail Call Day. Right here. And there's a lot of business going on in this box. A special box. I'll show you what it is inside, and then I will talk just a little briefly about what's inside, and then I'll do a review with a whole lot of, oh, surprises maybe. Let's put it that way. So let's get this box open. So, as some of you might have already guessed, a pen of some sort. But, from who? Who's the maker? And here's how they come. Two pens. Two pens, correct. Uno and dos. And I'll give it away right here. From the man himself, Jim Hines, custom pens. Let me just take a little look-see. Information that I'm going to need so I can explain to everyone. First, uh, a special thank you to Jim Hines for being there for me. Uh, one of my buds that if I need a pen, he's there for me to help me out. So, he's just a, a cool guy, great guy, and just a great pen maker. One thing about Jim Hines, he stands, about, he stands behind his pens. If something's not right or something goes wrong down the road, uh, he'll make it right. Uh, so, here is the boxes that come in, right here. So, let's open one up right now. And if you order anything from Jim Hines, this is how it will come to you, to your house. And we'll pull it out. There's the pin case. It comes in a plastic sleeve, extra protection, and you see Heinz handcrafted pins, right there. Nice logo, metal registering, aluminum, and proudly made in Texas. That is a, a nice looking pen case. Uh, I think uh, every year Jim gets better and better on improving his designs on his pen cases because, you know, I'm a pen case guy. I, I like to keep my pen cases. All right. Let's open it up. And you'll get the card like this. And here is a pen. Lays in the bed of foam to protect it. Made of resin. Beautiful red, white, in blue swirls. Now Jim uh, poured poured this and I do like the uh, clip a lot. I like that little roll ball on the end. Stunning fountain pen. 
Look at the nib, which I will be talking to you more about the nib in the review. And we'll unscrew the barrel because Jim always puts a converter in with his pins. Now we're talking custom-made pin, okay? Uh, so he, uh, it's only him turning the pins. So, well, that's number one, okay? With the clip, you got me. This is number two. And this is the second one. Also made of resin with uh, red, white, and blue swirls in there, really beautiful colors. And I'll go over the nib when I did the review. I'll go over the dimensions, the weights. And tell you a little story about these pins. So, here's another pin. And the name of these pins are the Patriot. Without a clip, and the other with a clip. So I'll just take them both out now. With the clip, without the clip. Okay? Get that a little straight there for you. Now, do you prefer a pen with a clip or not? Or does it make any difference to you? That's my question to you guys out there watching. Very important question. I'll be upfront and honest with you guys. I prefer a clip with my pen. Now, if you order a clip on one of Jim's pens, there is a, an upgrade charge for that because it takes a, a little bit of work to get that clip attached to the cap. It's not something you can just wham bam thinking you're done. Uh, remember the nib. So, let me know in the comment box below if you prefer a pen with a clip or without a clip, or it doesn't matter. Uh, those comments are really important, so that's all I'm going to tell you. And I will personally look at each one of those comments. So, that's going to take care of this mail call. A very important mail call. So my friends, what do you think of the Patriot? What do you think of the colors? And I'll give you more of my opinion and my feedback when I do a review on these pins before they go back to Jim. Okay. That's it my friends. Take care. God bless. Wash your hands as always. 
And please, for goodness sakes, don't text and drive. Bye-bye. <coughs>